Hello, and today we're going to create a symmetrical photo blend with a blend mode. This tutorial is from Photoshop. I'm just going to go through and go through it. The description says use the lighter color blend mode to turn a photo into a symmetrical playing card. No masking required. Let's see how this works. So to find this tutorial now, if you already have the photo or you have some other photo you want to use, that's fine. But I'm going to show you where to find this tutorial as, as far as it is right now, currently in Photoshop Browse Tutorial. We're going to go to All Categories, Beginner, and it's going to add Visual Effects, Create Symmetrical Photo Effect with a Blend Mode. Start that. Okay, now the first thing it's going to do, it says, is to... Let's try this again here. Start Tutorial. Okay. So the first thing it wants me to do is to double click this right here on the background. So I go to this one layer and we only have one layer right now and we're going to double click it. And that's going to bring this up and the mode is going to be normal. And all we do is hit OK and it no longer will be a background mode, background layer. So now right here it wants me to select the, the move tool. Since that's already selected, I need to click on another tool and back into the tool. That way it will know that I actually selected it. Otherwise, Photoshop doesn't know. So if you're following along through the tutorial of Photoshop, you'll need to do this if you already have the move tool selected. Now it knows I did that. Now it says hold the shift key and drag the photo to the right so the model's nose is near the edge of the canvas. Holding shift ensures Movement is constrained to horizontal or vertical directions only. Click next to continue. So we're moving this. So I'm going to hold down the shift on my keyboard. So I help, I'm holding down shift and I'm going to drag it to the right so that the model's note is near the edge of the canvas. So I'm going to move that. And let's go like, I don't know. This says near, so I don't know. We're going to go like that and I'll let go of everything. Now I'm going to click next. Now it says choose layer, new layer via copy. To create a copy of the currently active layer, the new copy layer will appear above the current layer. So the new one's going to be above there. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to go layer, new layer, copy via. So layer, new layer via copy. The shortcut on my Mac here is Command J. Command J is the shortcut. Now I have a new one. Now it says we're going to uh, now also notice that that second layer is selected, highlighted. OK, so right here it says choose, edit, transform, rotate 180. So edit, transform, rotate 180 right there. OK. Aha, uh -huh. interesting. Let's click next. Notice they're right on top of each other, the two layers, so we don't really see the other one. Now it says, click to open the blend mode menu and choose lighter color. Click next to continue. Now remember, this is only affecting this top layer. This layer, notice how this thumbnail is showing the other direction. The thumbnail actually shows us what's going on with that photo. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to come all the way down to lighter color which is really cool notice that when you're going over everything it's changing the mode which is fantastic lighter color got that now I'm going to click next now it says it says the lighter color blend mode compares the pixels on each layer and displays the brighter pixels in each location which works well when the subject is on a dark background. Click next to continue. So this works when it's on a dark background. Otherwise, it might not work so well. Next. Once again, hold shift and drag the top layer to the left so that the model's nose is close to the edge of the canvas. So now, notice we only have that layer selected. I'm going to hold down shift. And I'm going to, with shift hold held down, it will not move any other direction. It should not move. So I'm going to move this over here, bring this over here like
and let go, this is actually really cool. Yeah, this is really cool. Okay, let's go. Next, refine the effect by moving each layer until the desired symmetry effect is achieved. Click next to continue. If you look at the sym symmetry, it actually is pretty perfect. But if I had to, I would select each layer and move it where I need to. But it actually worked out well the first time. Notice how perfect that is. So I'm going to click next. And there you go. This is a really cool tutorial. Hope you have a lot of fun. Now, if you're trying to turn something in right now, currently we're using Canvas, and you're if you're in my class, uh, you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to first save it as a PSD if you want to, you know, just so you can come back with it. But, of course, it was pretty easy. I like to always put in there part of the title of the actual assignment symmetrical photo effect and I also like to put in there somewhere in there my name so I might even put that in the beginning so Matt George like that and I'll just click that as save then I'm also going to save this as a copy save it on my computer and I'm going to save it as a JPEG file I always like to put that in my downloads. I need to know where it's going. If I don't know where it's going, it's going to be an issue. So I'm going to save that full size. Eight quality is fine. And then what I would do with that is I would change the size of it. So go to image, image size. Otherwise, what's going to happen is, now this is already small to begin with. I made it down to a thousand because it's just for online viewing. So save as we'll save a copy rather. JPEG downloads and I'm gonna replace it. So there you go. It's always good to if you're gonna put this online, it's gonna go on Canvas. You want that a little bit smaller, that's the system we're using. So there you go. That's